Hi everybody, it's Asada and we're back with Beneath the Surface and I'm here with Daniela Frede. I'm from Lisbon, Portugal. My major is Nutritional Science and I'm a volleyball player here in Morgan. Yes, thank you for joining us today. I wanted to know, like, I know this is your first year here, but what is your best time on a college campus, like time of year? I love the fall, like we competing, we in season, like I'm getting to know everyone like new or even myself like you know because I'm new as well so I love the fall, like fall for me is the best part of the year. That's good. Um, I think I also love the fall because it's like around homecoming season mm -hmm. and I feel like everybody comes together. I um, never went to a homecoming. Oh so this will be your first year? Yes, well, <laughs> exciting. I'm excited, yeah. Everyone tells me like homecoming, like football, like and all these like I don't know, like preparation of the school does. Yeah, you know, there's like a lot of traditions. Mm -hmm, I'm really excited. Um, can you just tell me more about your major and why you chose it? So, so nutritional sciences, of course, like has to do like with food, and like I think that's really important, like for an athlete, you know, like knowing what to eat, what will fulfill me before and after practice. So, it was something that I was always interested to. But to be honest, I wanted to do physical therapy, mm -hmm. but because I'm from Portugal, like it's different so if I, I went over there with like exercise science with concentration in PT it would not be the same, same over there. so I had to repeat all like everything once I get there so I, I tried to choose a major that I still loved and had to do with me and my sport and I could do in Portugal so nutritional science as it is <laughs> not like it though. that's nice do you think um, when you get to Portugal you would get another degree like mm. in physical therapy I will not go to the university because like, I got if I would, I would not be able to play volleyball because okay. over there, like, it's different. But probably, like, I can do, like, you know, like, one-year courses so that they have, you know. Yeah. I can add to mine and, like, do, a, like, a lot of them. Maybe I will do that, but I, I'm, I'm just thinking about, like, finishing now and then go and play professional if I have the opportunity. Okay. Um, what is your favorite class currently? That's a hard one because <laughs> I just started. But probably my class from yesterday. I had nutrition, uh, nutrition, uh, foods and selection, something like that. Okay. So I like that one because like it gives you like what to eat, exactly what like exactly what I need, like what to eat before practice, what to eat after, like what this food will bring me, what vitamins, what minerals, like what what will do to my body, like in that moment, you know, like the dairy and like stuff and like that. So it's fun, it's been fun. But was, yesterday was my first day of day class. So classes, we, yeah. She didn't teach that much, much, but what she said, I liked it. I'm looking forward to hearing more about it. Um, can you just tell me a little bit about your first day on campus and kind of how that went here? Okay, so I arrived on a Friday, because I, I was here for summer, okay. so it was, was different. But yeah, I got to know, like, I got on Friday, so we didn't have practice until Monday. But yeah, the girls just showed me a little bit around campus. Like I went, like my first day was on Monday. I went, I did my physical. I had practice with the girls. Uh, coach showed me the campus. I met like, I went to the cafe with them. Like it was fun, I liked it. But my first day as a, uh, as a student, like this week, yes, was overwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie. Like a lot of people, people. I, was, I was not expecting that. Like everyone told me like, this will be like crazy. <laughs> but I didn't know that, you know, I've never been here. And it actually was, but it was so fun, like, you had, the, like, even though, like, you in HBCU, you had different cultures, like, different type of people, and it was just fun, like, everyone was talking, like, oh, you're so tall, you play sports, <laughs> yes, yes, I play sports, come and watch, watch, you know, right, come to the game, <laughs> exactly, so it was fun, like, everyone was talking, like, I liked it, it was really fun, I'm glad you had a good first day, yeah. um, can you just tell me so far, like I know you're very new here, but mm -hmm. what is something that you realized like Morgan had that you might have not thought was here beforehand and you really like? Uh, I thought that people would be, I don't know, not, some people would not like me as much because like I know that this is an HBCU, you know, yeah. like and like it's your safe space and stuff so I knew that me coming here was a big risk because maybe some people will not accept me as a person but they are and they're like yeah. I love it like I, I was afraid of that you know like they were looking at me weird or stuff like yeah. they did it like they I don't know they talk to me like they tell me that I'm really tall that I'm pretty <laughs> like they they compliment me all the time I compliment them all the time because I, I you know I That's like so that like, I'm I so see a, a cute girl I'm like you're so, you're so cute <laughs> yeah. girl like, yeah you know 
so I was not expecting like the people to be so yeah. friendly and yeah. welcoming and they were so yeah it was really good I'm so glad everybody was like really welcoming to you mm -hmm. I think that's also something I really love about being a student here is how like um, it feels kind of like a family setting mm -hmm. and stuff like that yeah, so it does. I think it's a pretty cool experience um, what would be some advice you would give to incoming students as you're kind of in your first week um, mm -hmm. and maybe somebody's interested in coming here what yeah. would you tell to them just like to have an open minded you know like uh, expect and expect it because everything happens like you see like so many different people like right. you know like and it's crazy because like you have I don't know like people that dress like all black people that dress like with all colors, colors. you know and like it's so just expect and expect and have an open mind to receive everyone like and just like to have friends because you will do like a new friend like every corner because everyone will talk to you <laughs> now that is one thing everybody will stop and talk to you yeah I did. they will but it's fun i like it um can you just tell me what your favorite social media is yeah so that's a hard question actually like i love instagram and tiktok but like for different reasons like if i want to talk with my friends and like just see what they're doing like throughout the day i go to instagram but if i want to be in my own mood like just watching right. the videos you know like people dancing and like fun videos I w i'm a tiktoker for sure i love tiktok i spend almost my my free day in there like that's TikTok, crazy no, but i love I'm tiktok <laughs> i think i could dance but i can't but tiktok i yeah. just everything's catching on tiktok oh i do my own this is like they're in the drafts i don't post them <laughs> <laughs> but they just you say them for yourself yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think that's good um would you rather read a book or watch a movie oh watch a movie for sure i'm not a reader i don't like i'm not saying that i don't like to read but I will wait for the movie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait well. for the movie. Oh well. What is currently your favorite movie out? Oh. Okay. Currently, I don't know, okay. but my favorite movie ever, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Like, okay. I, I haven't I'm, gotten into Harry Potter, but you have. Maybe to. I have to try. I watch I it try. every single year during normally like around Christmas time. I what? watch it and I re I rewatch like the entire Harry Potter saga. And I, I just love it. I don't know, okay. like... I How long does it take you to get through the whole thing? <sighs> a few days. <laughs> a few <laughs> days. Because, like, they have, like, two hours and a half, each one of them. So, they, I think they eight movies. So, it takes me, like, a few days to watch them. And, like, sometimes I, I'm not home all the time. So, I have to stop and then rewatch. Oh, but sure. normally I can watch, like, one a day or one in two days. So, yeah, two weeks, one week and a half. That's what it takes me normally to watch. Okay. Um... Do you have a favorite TV show? Oh, I do. I have more than one, actually. Okay, let me Grey's know. Anatomy, uh, The Vampire Diaries, and... Oh, I have another one. I forgot. I will keep with it. Just that okay, one. Okay, just those two. <laughs> those two. I forgot. I have yeah. another one. I always... Oh, The Hundreds. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, Grey's Anatomy and The Vampire Diaries, for sure. Those two, like I, I keep rewatching. Re I, I, I'm just watching right now. I'm, I'm <laughs> in season eight of Grey's <laughs> Anatomy. Yeah, that one is not one I've gotten to yet, but I have heard a lot about it. But I do love the Vampire Diaries too. It's so, it's so good. good. I watch once a year as well. I, as, as soon as I finish Grey's Anatomy, I'm gonna go and watch, and watch it. that. <laughs> All right. Um, do you have a favorite celebrity or maybe athlete? Oh, an athlete? Yes, I do. Uh, Gabi Guimarães. She's a volleyball player, okay. and she's from. She's Brazilian. I just love her. Like she's an inspiration. Like as a volleyball player to yeah. me. Um, yeah, like she's such a good player. Like I think everyone that watched volleyball and likes volleyball right. watches. Like watches her because like she she's amazing like as a volleyball player as a person what, what she brings to the community what she's bringing to brazil and like she's amazing she's the best player ever <laughs> one of the best yeah <laughs> um do you have a favorite music artist that's also a hard one so i had bad bunny but now i'm into tiago vague he's a brazilian okay. trapper so good uh so i'm gonna say him because like currently he's what i listen the most Just yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to look him up after this. Yeah, he's, um, he's Brazilian, so he speaks my language, you know. Yeah, it's cool. Um, do you have a favorite childhood cartoon character? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yes, I love it. 
I love it. <laughs> yeah. Me. You know, I like it. Yeah, I love, I'm a Disney fan too. Me so. too. Girl, Disney right now is not good no more. I, I just wish I, I feel like there's some things out there mm -hmm. that's good. As it's good as not I would say. Yeah, it's not the same. Exactly. It's definitely not the same. Anna Montani, Zeki Cody, like, yeah, Sweet Life, Wizards, of yeah. Play, like, you don't, you can't, yeah, I can't that. compare. You can't beat that. Um, what is the most interesting place you would say you have visited? Hmm, America. Okay. Like, <laughs> it's because we like us in Europe, like we watch America, like New York in the movies and stuff. And then right. I went to New York like three times already. Like it's crazy. Every time that I'm there, I just love it. Like I see the build building, you know. Right. And, I don't know Times Square. Like it's so many lights and there's everything that we watch in the in the movies, the movies, you know. So it's yeah here New York, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of New York too. Um, I live in New Jersey, so it's kind of oh. nearby. So like New York <laughs> is like bright lights, the city. So yeah. yeah. I love traffic as well. <laughs> traffic? Yeah, so many cars. Like. So many cars, right? Yeah. Busy. Mm -hmm. um, if you could visit anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, this is actually, because I always said America. America originally. But yeah. now, now that I came here, I want to go to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? Mm -hmm. I want to go there. I want to go to... Cuba as well. Cuba and Puerto Rico, yeah. Are the next ones on your list? Okay. Yes, they are. Um, do you have a favorite home cooked meal? For sure. Uh, okay, it's a it's a Portuguese place, okay. so I will say in Portuguese. Uh, bacalhau de Maria. My mom does it so well. It's basically like cod with uh fries, but like potatoes, but like they're not fries. Like my mom cuts the potatoes like in circles okay. and then like she fries them and like puts like with onion and tomato sauce so mm. good and fried cod as well so good okay yeah i might have to step up my plate game and mm -hmm. learn yeah and mom, i i, I don't know how to do foods. that i don't know my yeah, mom does okay so one can, day you'll master it yeah one day i will my mom will teach me um and i was wondering do they do you have a favorite breakfast cereal do you eat cereal often? I do eat cereal, but not from here though. Okay. <laughs> here I like cornflakes. It's okay, like cornflakes. Or mm, the rice, like the little rice things, like the cake mm. rice, chocolate. Rice Krispie treats? Yes, but normally cornflakes. In Portugal, we have these cereal they call estrelitas. These are like okay. the most. Like, they look like little stars and like they have honey, oh. you know. So they so good. I, I just cannot wait to go back to Portugal. Go back and home and get that. I will bring that with me because I always forget. Like, I always you definitely saying, should, so we could try. <laughs> exactly. Like I always end up saying like, oh, I need to bring like some chili so, with so. me because it's so good. Right. But then I keep forgetting. Yeah, like I don't, like I don't, I don't bring anything with me. Oh. Like, <laughs> but now I will. Like I will do a list. I will bring Portuguese candy and chili. What is so? I've never had Portuguese candy. So good! Like, we have other brands that you guys don't have here. That we don't have We here. have, like, Vidal is my favorite brand. Like, it's my favorite candy ever. And Fini. Fini, like, other places have, but, like, okay. we just have different ones. Different and, versions. Yeah. yeah. So, but Vidal. Vidal is Ooh. the best. I love Vidal. Do you have, like, any, like, candies we have here, but, like, different flavors? Because sometimes I see, like, like, different like uh Aribu, i don't know how you guys like the gummy bears okay we have the same oh yeah the same uh, and the cokes like in the same brand like brand. we have like okay. so that brand we have and is like basically the same so okay. but all the rest we don't, don't have. <laughs> what what has been your favorite like american candy you would say sour patch kids sour patch kids so good yeah i think but the kids it has to be the kids okay like, I like the peaches as well, though. No, oh, the but the peach kids. flavors. Yeah, yeah, but the kids. Yeah. Sour Patch Kids is so good. I think I definitely am a tie between like Sour Patch Kids and Extreme Bites, like the Airhead, like mm. sour candies. Yeah, those I are good sour too. Candy. Yeah, mm. I'm I'm a sour candy person. Yeah, me too. I love sour mm -hmm. candy. So, um, how did you start playing volleyball? I don't know. I was nine when I started playing. Like I had this. I was like doing physical education i think that's how you guys call it here and like um the professor was like oh i will open a volleyball team maybe you should try and i'm like oh i never played volleyball before that will be fun and because i was like really really tall like when i was like nine i i don't know in yours 
something and measure, like, I but in mine it was like 160 something already, so almost, let's say I think 5 8 almost okay. when I was 9, oh, wow. so I was really really, really tall. tall. And he said, oh, you should try. So I went and tried and like, I just fell in love with the sport. Like, I, I loved it. Like, I wanted like, he was learning me how like, he was teaching me like how to serve and I, I really wanted like to hit the ball. And like, it was so fun. Like, he was like, go like, go slowly. No, and he like, you need to learn first the, right. the, the basic and then you go to the highs. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna learn. <laughs> right. So yeah, I just, yeah, I love the sport. So which team, I don't know if you've seen the roster yet, but which team on that roster do you think you look, um, that you look forward to most playing against this year? Hmm. So I have a, a friend in Maryland, okay. Eastern Shore. Shore? Okay, mm -hmm. yes. That's so, and I know that they are a good team and I know that they beef with our school, so oh, I'm excited. Okay, I'm so excited, excited to, to play that game. I'm excited to play that game, but also Delaware State, I know that they normally go to the the national tournament right. so I'm excited like to prove that like we not number seven as we are ranked right now like we right. will be number one okay so I'm excited it's an exciting year yeah I'm excited to like for different reasons you know Delaware like to show them like we not we not a weak team no more yeah, right and the other Maryland Eastern Shore because I have a friend there and like I know that like last year they were like you know, competing, Fitting, right, head and head. head so. Exactly. So like, I'm excited to play that team as well. Do you have any like pre-game like rituals or things you do before your game? Oh yeah, I have. So like, normally we have practice in the morning, and then I go home. I take a shower. If I have time, I take a nap. If I don't, I don't. I cook my own meal because. I'm gluten intolerant and lactose intolerant, so in that day I cannot have that. Like, right. I Especially. cannot. Right. So I normally cook, and then I listen to my. It has to be my own music. I put the speaker on the loudest that I can, and I just start <laughs> singing like I'm. I'm giving a show to someone. Like <laughs> I'm giving a concert right now. I start singing, then I get ready. I bef I come to here. I still on my headphones, listen to my music. music. I call to my mom. She gives me like some words of advice nice. like to the game. She turns me on to the game and then I keep hearing my music and then I'm ready to go. You're ready to go. Yeah. That's super nice that you call your mom before your game. Oh, every single game I, I have to call her. One time I didn't and that was bad luck. Was I played so game. bad. I played so bad and then in the game she was like, I told you to call me. Me. <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't have any service. I couldn't right. call you. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, she's my best friend so I called her for sure. Definitely. Um, what would you say is like your favorite part of like playing the sport? Being able, first of all, being able to play with the people that I love the most, you know, my teammates, like we have family, so like it's great like to see them like growing as not, not only like as a player, but also as, a, as people. And also like, I don't know, I just forget about all my problems. Like they said outside of the court and like I have those three hours, four hours of practice that I'm like, I'm locked in and I don't think about nothing else. And it's like, it's refreshing because it, right. it, it gets me like, I, I'm able to reset and like, okay, let's, let's go, ahead, you know, let's get it. So it's fun. And I, lo I love that it's a team sport as well. That's amazing. Um, what is like kind of like your favorite athletic memory? Like this whole time you've been playing volleyball since you were nine. What is a moment where you're like, that was like my best volleyball game, or that was the best day ever? Mm, okay, that's a hard one. Uh, I, I think the one that I was the most happy about was when I was playing in Portugal before I came here. I was on a team that was on the second division. We were about to start playing to go to the first division, so the best division in Portugal and one of the best, like you know, ever. Um, so, but COVID, COVID came and oh. I got injured before COVID. COVID. So like I'm like, oh, I'm blessed right now because. Thank God that I have COVID like to recover. Right, recover. And from. then we play a special tournament, like a, I think a weekend or a week tournament to okay. see who, who would win and go to the first division in Portugal. And my team went. Okay. So like was was really like rewarding, like because all the hard work that we have been doing like the whole year, and then we were sad because like people were telling us that like we couldn't go anymore. So like everything wow. that we were doing for that year like was going to the trash and like be right. forgetting like. 
So that was really rewarding, like the feeling that like, okay, we're going to the best division in Portugal, Portugal like right. this is so rewarding right now. And like I was only 18 or 17 at a time and like I was playing, I was like a starter. So, and that was helping my team to get there. So that was really, really rewarding. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, I wish I was that talented at sports, <laughs> but I'm not. But um, you are yeah. another thing. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what is your favorite professional sports team? I will have to go with Benfica. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a yeah. Is not only like because of football. It's more because of soccer, actually. Like, okay. I I it's my sport. I have them tattooed right here. Like, I just love like Benfica is like. I don't know, all my all my family is like they are like right. they are, is their club and like I've grown like in their environment. Mm -hmm. I went to all the soccer games, like I watch like different sports, I go to different like I I don't know, I just love it. Like Bifika has my whole heart and I'm a I'm a soccer fan, yeah. so I love it. Bifika for sure. That's amazing. Um if you're not at practice, where could somebody find you? In my room. <laughs> I'm not sure you're in a room in person. In my room. Okay. Like, yes. I, I don't... Yeah, in my room or listening to my music, watching right. my series or sleeping. They can find me there. There. <laughs> so what do you look forward to um, like during this upcoming season? To show people like... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that because I, I feel like Coach did a really good job recruiting like other people and like sure. people that would add more to the team and will help the team with other things because I think everyone has a little bit of like to add to the team. Like I play overseas, like uh, Addie, which is also a new player, like she she came from a different league so it's like she right. can bring that to our our league as yeah, well right. and like I know that like she played in Brazil as well so she can add to our mm -hmm. team and I think like we have so many different players that I can add like to the game and I think we united like we're playing as one and we are actually a family and we we friends outside and on oh. and inside of the court so that is helping us like reaching like our actually potential and I'm so excited because like we did two scrimmages already against each other mm -hmm. and like was so good mm -hmm. like in in the end of the game like I went in and watched film again and like I saw the quality of the game and like what we are doing and how we practicing like and I oh my gosh I'm so excited like for, for people come, come and watch out. us play, play and see that the team that were we were last year doesn't have nothing, nothing to do with this year. Like nothing. We we different players, we different people, we different team. So I'm really excited for like the season to start. Yeah. That's good. Um so if I would talk to one of your other teammates, they would say like what characteristic would they give about your personality? Oh, I'm fun. You're fun. Yeah. Okay. I I talk a lot, so I think I think they would say that I'm loud mm -hmm. during and outside of practice. And I'm I'm fun. I'm always like dancing, do my dance, dance moves and stuff in practice. Like you know, like when it's when we have to lock in, we have, we have to, to lock, lock in. in. But also like we have those moments that we have to relax a little bit. So I make them laugh and I make them like you know release a, a little bit of the pressure. Sure. So I think they will say that. I don't know. All right, I hope so. <laughs> Um, if you were a superhero, what would be your superpower? Oh, you know, I thought about that. So I watched like Mermaid's show when I was a kid okay. and I wish I was a mermaid, but also like I love the vampire diaries, so I wish I was a vampire. So for me, I was a mermaid during the day and the fire at night. night. <laughs> that was my okay. superpower. Mm, but I would like to read people's minds. Okay. That freaks me out because I never know what people are, are thinking. thinking about you. And like, and, not even about me, but like in general, you in know, general. like someone is going through stuff and like they're sure. not like, you know, like they don't want to talk about it. I just feel so bad because I want to help them in the best way that I can. And like, I wish I could read people's minds like and also like some people are not honest with their intentions and like what they say. So if I read people's minds, I will know if you will be We're honest or not. <laughs> and you would only know too. So yeah, and I was the only one. one I will not share. <laughs> That's good. Um, do you have like an interesting nickname or something other people call you by? Danny. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing interesting. Like, just Danny. Danny. That's what my friends call me. Um, what is your best piece of advice um, that you've ever received? Mm, be patient. Everything comes to you in the right moment. I have that tattoo in my body as well. <laughs> yeah, to be patient and like 
God will provide to you in the right time and like you just have to be patient and wait for the right moment and yeah be patient. be patient everything has their own time who would you say like told you that uh i would not say that someone told you told me directly my mom teach me that right, right. my mom made me see that like everything has their right moment and like right. if something is not happening right now if i don't have this opportunity right now it's because something better will come for me and it actually has come for me you know like it I was not supposed to be here right now right. And, and then in the middle of nowhere nothing like I had the opportunity mm -hmm. to come so like and was in the right moment like was right. when I was available available mentally to receive the opportunity you know because like maybe one month before that I was not and I would not say no right away mm -hmm. you know so yeah like God's time God's timing, timing is the best timing yeah. I definitely believe that too um if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? That I'm an overthinker. I am. I think so much about everything. Like if if we talking like for two days and you stop replying, I'm gonna think that like you don't <laughs> you like, don't like me, me no more. Like <laughs> and if I do something bad in practice and like coach looks at me weird, I would think that like, oh I suck, you know, like I'm an overthinker, but always about myself. Like right. you know like I don't know. I would change that about me because sometimes I just freak out for no reason. Right. And uh, like, yeah, that just doesn't help me at I all. I understand. I'm also an overthinker. <laughs> um, who is somebody that you admire most, like in your life? My mom. Um, I have four brothers actually, but like, four no, three brothers. I'm the fourth. Um, but my mom and my dad had three. Um, and like to see what she she went through in her life and like see everything that she did for us right. as like you know because we were babies and I don't know all the opportunities that I have and that will have in the future is because of her I may I am who I am because of her and I don't know I just saw everything that she went through and like she still had the strength like to fight for us and like be here for me and my brothers and to raise us like the best way that she could by herself so that was rewarding as well and yeah I just love my mom that's amazing um what would you say is your most prized possession the thing I have the most expensive thing that I own well yeah most expensive but it also is just it doesn't have to be expensive it could be like valuable like you know what I mean? oh, it could be something my necklace that's... I have this necklace is also with my mom <laughs> yeah we just have like we want to do this tattoo and like he's literally like an angel uh, oh, wing man. so I will have one half and she will have the yeah, other yeah. half uh, and it is like this is my lucky charm I will wear it every day during practice if I don't have it oh my gosh <laughs> I just freak out like I need to have it I have it every day with me when I'm sad I just kiss it because like my mom has the other half you know so yeah, it's my, yeah, I, lo I love it. It's amazing. Um, so if you could have dinner with three people, hmm. who would it be? Like you had your decision, <laughs> any three people. Rod Wave, okay, okay. <laughs> Tiago Vague, mm, and the other one, let me think. I will put a soccer player. Okay. I will say Jean Felix. <laughs> it's a soccer player. He's so cute. <laughs> what would be on the menu? Like, what would you want to have for dinner? Oh, tonight? everything. I want the entry. I want the the main plate. I want the dessert. Okay. I want the drink. I want everything. everything. Yeah, but dessert brownie. It has to be brownie. Yeah, right. I love okay. brownie. Or um, I love these ice cream like called Romantica. It's okay. from Portugal as well. So good. It has caramel and like a cookie in between and mm. vanilla and chocolate. And the combination is just so, so good. good. Yeah. Um, would you say you're like an early bird or a night owl? Night owl. Night owl? <laughs> okay. I'm not owl or bird. I wish I was though, because like I feel like when I wake up in the morning, I wake up because I have to, not because I want right. to. Like, if you let me sleep, I will sleep until 1 p.m. That's it. Like, <laughs> let me sleep and you will see. Like, I will talk to you in like 5 p.m. when because I will wake up, go to the bathroom, probably sleep a little bit more, <laughs> watch my show, and then I will start talking with people. But yeah, I when I but when I wake up early, I feel that my day is so productive. You know, like right. I do so many stuff, so. but I, I just I I can't. 
Yeah. Like it comes you to nine. Give me the choice, yeah. Yeah, like I'm tired tonight. I'm not gonna lie. Like I am tired, but I just like keep watching my show and like I don't want to yeah. stop. So that's, that's the worst. Like when you have to go somewhere, but you just got to a good part of the show. Exactly. It's like, and then you get you have to, like you say to yourself, oh no, just the next episode. Right. And then the next, the next episode, episode is really good. Yeah, exactly. Yes. That's my problem. Mm -hmm. I always do that. And yeah, not I will. I definitely agree. Um, what would you? Who would you say is the funniest person on the team? Hmm, that's a good one. I would say Aubrey. I would say me as well. <laughs> I, I'm pretty funny, but Aubrey is pretty fun. Like Aubrey, oh my gosh, Aubrey is so funny. She, I don't think she realizes how funny she, she is because like she, she actually tries to do stuff, but the way like her face, like <laughs> her reaction, like it's so funny. She never knows like where she, like, she never knows what she's doing. Like <laughs> she's just so funny. Like her reactions, what what coach tells her, she's really funny. That's good. And then after meeting your coach, kind of what were your thoughts? I love that woman. <laughs> I love her. Like I think she's so nice. She's so kind. She's so helpful. I think she will teach me a lot of things and different things that I didn't have until now. I think she gave me a great opportunity to be here and she saved me in a way, you know, that only her and me know, you know, and right. I don't know, I, I, that was, she was exactly what I was expecting Thank on the you. phone because like on the phone she was already giving me that energy and I just came to confirm that. I, right. I don't know, I don't know how people don't like her, I, I love her. <laughs> And I barely know her. <laughs> <laughs> Already. That's amazing. Um, if you had one word to like describe the team or what this season's gonna be like, what would that word be? Mm. So I have to go back to my vocabulary, right? So <laughs> it's not extended, but I would say one thing of one word for the team, like surprising. Surprising. Yeah, okay. people will surprise a lot of people. People will see. <laughs> I, I'm so excited. <laughs> like, I'm excited for you. I'm definitely gonna be catching some games. Um, oh, you have to. I'm gonna be there. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming today. Thank you. Talking to me. It was great. It was great. I like this. Thanks.